founder of DLA Ignite. Uh, today we're going to be talking with Sharon Jahavi. I nearly got it. I, I'm, 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 I fluffed it, didn't I? I fluffed it. It's okay, Zahavi. It's 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 easier than you think. It, it is. It is. Um, it's because I'm nervous because I'm start starting a podcast. I mean, I've done this podcast for years. I still get nervous. It's okay. It's because I'm so charming. People get nervous around me. Uh, oh, maybe nervous. it is. Maybe maybe it is. Maybe it, it's it's you, not me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so we're going to talk about selling without selling. Um, and we're going to talk about how you can sell if you're a um, a new business owner and you don't feel that you can sell and all of those things that um, many people ask questions about. Um, Sharon, wh where can people um, where can people find you? So the easiest way to contact me would be LinkedIn. Um, you can also go to my website, sexupyourbrand.com. Um, I, res I respond pretty easily, but I would say uh, leave a message that I know who you are because some people are kind of weird online. So Yeah, and, and I would always say to people, um, I often get these where people just connect and you go, well, who are you? Or, yeah. and, 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 and then you go, well, I know what's going to happen. You're just going to pitch to me. So I'm exactly. not going to bother. Exactly. Whereas you send me a little nice little note. So I saw you on Tim's Tim's podcast. Um, you spoke a load of sense, and I'd like to connect. Yeah, exactly. That would be the best way to do this. I mean, to, to be honest with you, we all experience this. We all experience these constant messages we're getting from people that we don't really know and are not really interested in us, just pretending to be, and they're pitching us whatever it is that they do. And most of the time you see this with a very, very long message that uh, includes nothing about you just all about what they can do and, and and this is actually really relevant for today exactly because because people get people just people think that i'm interested in them you know I'm, and i know that you're really excited because you've got this new bit of software and this new startup but i really don't care it's very true. I mean, we're all busy. We all have something going on. I don't even have the time to read something that long. Immediately when I see something that long, I just go, that's probably a pitch. And I might be missing on a great opportunity to work with someone who could be a great addition to my business. But with the wrong pitch, they'll never get the opportunity to be heard. Mm. Seth Godin um, uh, has said in the past, he says, I don't have I don't have time to sort out your marketing problems. Exactly. <laughs> that's a good one. So, so what what should we be doing? Because you know, I, I get messages all the time. You know, I'm constantly going delete, 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 uh, and and it must be, uh, uh, you know, I'm I'm guessing it's because people still think that um, in the past what we did was we cold call people. So if we ring a hundred people, so if we connect to a hundred people, somebody's going to speak to us, aren't they? Um, yeah, we all feel like there is some kind of a numbers game here and it's like cold messaging and cold emailing and cold calling is still something that should be working well. But the truth is, it's not working anymore because we've seen it all. We're tired of it. We don't want to feel like we are a number. We want to feel like we are a person. So we want to feel like we are heard and we could connect and someone can really understand what it is that we need before we decide to buy something or choose to work with someone. And any company that's neglecting, focusing on that, they're never going to get the right opportunities that they truly deserve. I think I think that that people that cold outreach um, for many people works, but really in a really small way. But people are so used to that that they don't think, I wonder if we could actually if there was a better way of doing this. Well, I mean, if you think about it. If you're doing this and it works even a little bit, you feel like that if you do more, it will work more. Well, a little bit more. Right, a little bit more, but it, it really won't, right? There is a very small success rate from that because you happen to find the one person who is somewhat actively looking for what you are currently pitching. When the reality, the majority of your opportunity, most of your market is not even a state in a state where they need you right away. They might not even know that they need you. So you are missing or like probably 80% of the your potential prospects because you're not connecting, you're not educating them, you don't, you know, you don't help them realize, you know, what it is that, that you know, what is the potential here together. So you happen to catch that one percent that just goes, oh, yeah, that sounds like something I was looking for, like right now. Yeah, there's there's a um 
there's some 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 um, statistics somewhere that that four percent or it could be it's, sometimes it's six percent of the marketplace are looking for what you're you're selling. So that means that ninety four percent or um, um, which figures so four so percent so ninety six percent of people are not looking for what you're selling right now. Yeah, and, and the, the thing is with this this market right now, there's a lot of competition and there's a lot of opportunity. And if we don't connect, we don't actually have a reason to work with someone, even if they have a good offer, because it's often not about the offer, right? I might connect with someone, but I don't have trust yet. I don't really know who they are. I don't really know if they know, you know, my values, what I care about. So the offer may not even be, uh, the main thing that will hook me to the opportunity. And it's also because I know that whatever it is that they're offering, I can easily find somebody else that can do the same thing. So the only reason I will choose to work with someone is because I feel some connection, some level of understanding. And that's the most important thing. I mean, to me, when I sell anything, this is not about selling. It's about listening and truly seeing the opportunity of helping someone. And many times I don't even tell them what I do because I just don't feel I'm the solution. I give them another solution and they go, no, 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 but I want to work with you. And I'm like, that's great, but you're not there yet. Let me help you get there. So maybe we could work together in the future. So, so what is it that, what, what is it that we need to be doing? So, so, um, uh, let's assume that, you know, I'm a, an entrepreneur. I've just started a, my business. I'm not somebody that's come from. So I've actually had someone to con connect to me today. They're just starting a business and they, they're not sell a salesperson. They're a technical person. Mm -hmm. What is it that that what is it that we should be doing? So um, just like, you know, if you invite a, if there's a problem with your house and you're getting a plumber to check in. They're going to see a problem with the pipes. Um, I'm. A branding strategist so I will always go to this sort of like fundamental level of building yourself as an authority and as a brand and this a, is the person um the the, the, the person not the company that's right right because I I was on a call this morning and the person was just was talking to me saying we're building the brand so the company right whereas there's two founders and and my view is that they should be building the, the, their authority as founders. Correct. I mean, because there are a lot of small companies these days, too, we don't actually connect with the company anymore. We connect with the person. And the more you spend time and energy to build yourself as an authority, there's a better chance that people will, you know, the visibility and the credibility you gain from branding is what makes people trust you more and want to collaborate with you. So if you're not a sales person, you just want to put the heavy lifting for on the branding rather than the selling. Because the selling is just the last stage of convincing someone to do something. There are so many stages before that that you can set up all the pieces so that when they come to the to the to that stage of talking to you so you can close the deal they're already closed. It's just a matter of logistics. It's about empowering them to buy, really. Exactly. It's just like, let's sort out the details, right? Like they're already there. They already know they like you. They already know that you understand their needs. Now it's just a matter of how, how we move forward. And it makes it so easy. So anybody who's starting a business or anybody who's struggling with sales, the answer is to focus on building yourself as an authority and build a real connection through values and listening and understanding and it sounds maybe vague but it's only because these are skills that we all have but we just neglect because of all this advice we get about you know marketing tactics you know give him a funnel show him this give them a free thing you know opt into that opt into this how come it's not working i'm putting money into ads and nobody's clicking forget about the tactics Go back to the basics. This is about connection. This is about understanding. So to me, you can build an amazing brand for yourself with zero money and just proper networking skills and a great ability to listen to others. And I, I you know, I, um, there's a, I've just been on LinkedIn and um, there's a newspaper here in the UK called The Guardian. 
and they've stopped at uh, advertising for um, gambling companies, which I think is great. Um, and um, so I just put a comment that someone shared it. And I, I basically said at my company, we've turned down business from gambling companies because we don't believe we, 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 we don't want to be involved in that. Um, it's an authentic post is what what we believe in as a business. And people have forgotten about the original post and they're all diving in saying, well, that's amazing, Tim. That's fantastic. And this is so. So what I'm, what I'm saying is, you know, it doesn't cost me anything. It costs me time. But here we are. I'm giving you. I'm going out onto to, to social media, and I'm providing an authentic view about what what my beliefs are and what the beliefs are of the company. Now, if you're a big gambler, you're probably not going to get on with me anyway. So I've. I've it's actually really efficient because I've actually now qualified you out. But but if you believe it, uh, believe with me that we shouldn't. Re, uh, you know, it's not something that I want to be in. Then it it took me took me thirty seconds to do that. Exactly, and and that's kind of like the natural attraction that we gain from you know working through our va values, right? We're putting our values out there. That's the main thing that we care about when it comes to the you know brand identity, right? Because a lot of people when they think about branding, they think about all the communication elements, like you know colors and fonts and you know all of that stuff. But a real brand, and I'm also talking about a personal brand, is really about your values. And you want to stick to those values no matter what, because you'll have that opportunity to attract those who really resonate with what you put out there and kind of like, you know, let the ones that are not really resonating with you kind of go away and look for something else. So you don't have to waste their time or your time on it. And it's just about putting yourself out there and really connecting in a level of conversation. And I think that's a very powerful example. I mean, there's a lot of companies I work with that I choose to work with companies that are more impact driven and founders that are more impact driven. It's exciting for me. I enjoy it. I know that I'll have great experience doing this. But if I have a company that comes to me and they're like, well, we just need you to do this and this and that. And I'm like, great, let me find you somebody that can help you with that. It's not going to be me. Right. Because if I'm not true to my values, I'm also going to lose the ones who were attracted to me because of my values. Yeah. And I think as a as a founder, that's one of the things we get very excited about the product, but we often forget about ourselves and the fact that we are. Um, we are the product, you know, if we if we've got this idea, I mean, you know, if if it, you know, how who's more famous, Bill Gates or Microsoft? Right. But but I but I know who Bill Gates is, Steve Jobs. I know who still J J Steve Jobs is. Most people do. And you know, if you take some of the um, the biggest brands in the world, so I don't know if you know, we 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 did some research on this. That that Christian Ronaldo has seven times more followers on social media than the top ten brands in the world. Really? Yes. Uh, and for us, okay, so uh, that's a you know one thing, but for us that that's proof that what people are people are more interested in is that person and that personality than Huawei and Apple and and and, and all of the and all of the brands that they're in the, well, the top ten. It doesn't actually surprise me at all because a lot of companies that I work with actually I can give you like a, a real example. There's one company that I worked with, you know, a startup. Right. And the startup, it's always about trying to get, you know, customer acquisition, user acquisition. It's it's a big thing. It's a it's a big hurdle. Yeah. And I um, I told the founder what I want you to do is slow down on promoting the company and focus on promoting yourself and connecting yeah. with people on LinkedIn, you know, based on and not because you're pitching and not because you're asking them to do something but you can connect with their values and their mission and their posts and what they're putting out there and connect through that. He's been doing it for six months. His success with that has been amazing. New uh, investment opportunities, new partnership opportunities, huge companies interested in what we have to offer just because he put himself out there rather than the company. People yep. work with people. We don't want to connect with a logo. No, absolutely, and 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 the and the, the battle that, you know, I when I present to companies, one of the things that that the that, that marketing struggle with is the fact that I say so when I'm I'm connected to you, I'm connected to you on LinkedIn. When you go and move to somewhere else, my connection is with you, not with the company. Correct. 
uh, and and my relationship now i may say i i want to deal and carry on dealing with the company but 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 the fact is is that the way that the the way that the world works because of social networks and the fact that social networks have changed the world is that we're it's all based on relationship not based on brand exactly i mean the world is small now we just connect with people so easily when well, you're based in toronto i'm based in london and and you know if i was in toronto i I'd, 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 i'd contact you and say let's go out for coffee we had we had a really nice podcast and you'd say yes or you'd probably say no because you're an old person i don't want to be scared <laughs> i'm probably going to say yes but you know we'll see <laughs> give it a go <laughs> but but you know it's it's it, you know the world is small and 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 um we're able to to form relationships with people people think that relationships take time and actually relationships can happen very very quickly relationships don't actually take time relationship take a little bit of effort hmm. and a little bit of authenticity okay because i've seen people try to network uh basically you know waiting there until i finish talking so they can tell me what it is that they do and i can see it in their eyes it's it's you cannot hide it they're just sitting there being like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i'm in real estate and it's like great um the idea is to truly be able to listen to someone and when you network properly you try to offer some value before you pitch yourself because again it's not about you know one piece of a puzzle another piece and oh it matches now we're going to work together it's really about taking that effort and that little bit of authenticity so that people can like you if they like you they will work with you I've had opportunities where I spoke on stage and I I speak a lot on stages sometimes I pitch what I do sometimes I don't I don't it's just educational and I've had times where I get off the stage after an educational talk and people come to me being like okay so I have to work with you so how do we work together and I'm like you don't even know what I do <laughs> and they're like no it doesn't matter we we have to, we have to work together and just just to show you it's not about the offer it's about who you are and how you put yourself out there hmm. yeah we've done some research on uh, content on social media and um the more that you talk about yourself not in a um it's me but you talk about yourself in an authentic way and show about yourself the more actually people will walk towards you Yeah, I mean that makes sense. The, the thing is we we like vulnerability. We like I mean when people say authenticity they sometimes forget what that means and that's because we have a tendency to overuse words. You know, they they become I think, they think it's because I've got an authentic product. What why have you? Because marketing told me. Exactly, exactly. We just we take a word that people seem to like and we then abuse it until it loses its actual purpose and its actual meaning. Oh. But <laughs> We do it all the time. Um, but when we really talk about authenticity, it's just being true to who you are. This cannot be easier. Like this is literally the easiest thing you could do. Just be yourself and just naturally connect with those you like and you have a similar energy. Don't force it. Don't fake it. Don't lie. Don't pretend. Don't manipulate. When it comes to selling without selling, All I hear is people talking about selling tactics. You know, you need to say this. You need to say it like that. You need to make sure that this is the way. This is the structure. This is the answer. The tactics the tactics are great when you get to the, you know, last bit of it and you need to help people maybe hold their hand to that final decision, but if you're focused on tactics the whole time, they don't even get to connect with you. You're losing more opportunities than you're gaining. That's for sure. I, I I see it on um, on LinkedIn um, and and there's nothing worse than than you you can you want to say I, I'm building a funnel you go no it's a trap oh I know you, you know and it's like I'm not walking into you know it's like being caught on a spider's web I mean you know come on and you know come on it's 2023 do, you know do you really want you know this is this is not about conning or manipulating people anymore We, we're all too wise to it. There's no, there's no, and we are getting tired of this. Like that's why no. we have a lot of these, these conversations when people are like, 
I don't want to do this. I don't want to be sold to. Don't tell me what you do. And you can see how people are so defensive because they're getting tired of this, this constant feeling like you're just another number. You're just another lead. You're going to continue emailing constantly, constantly without a conversation, just another message after another message. And you're like, who are you? Take a moment to explain to me what this is. I literally messaged someone like that one time. They sent me 10 messages in a row. And I eventually said, your messages are so long and I don't understand what you do. If you want me to give you a moment, send me a one real short message. And he didn't respond. And I was almost like, God, don't you love automation? <laughs> that robot couldn't even figure out what it is that they need to answer. Because they're like, oh, she's, she didn't say yes. She didn't say no. We're lost. I get all kinds of emails from people and, and I look at them and I go, I and I'm, you know, I know quite a lot about stuff. Um, and, and I look at it, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm confused. Sometimes I take a moment and I'm like, I don't get it. Can you dumb it down? For it's, me? it's, it's written in such, such complete, complete and utter uh, garbage um, jargon. Because go, do, people start to sparkle marketing words on yeah, top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you crawled completely so much? up your backside? And, and I don't, I just, I, I don't know that on this podcast. I don't, know. I don't mind saying to people, I don't get it. Please, please say it in a dumb way because my brain, and it's like that for most people, is too tired of hearing nonsense. And I need your help to clear that garbage that you added to your statement of what it is that you do and just tell me what it is. You might get an opportunity if I just get it. Not everything is selling and selling and selling and selling. It's exhausting. Mm. We want to find partners. We want to find good solutions. We, I want to find people that can help me solve problems in my business and make my life easier. I do. What I don't want is having to spend hours to figure out what it is that you do. What is your offer? How much it is? How can we work together? I don't have time for that. That's not making my life easier. That's making it more complicated. That That is a fantastic way to finish this interview. Um, thank, you. thank you. so much for today. It, 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 it You know, um, I think there's so much insight into, you know, what you're saying. And and, and, I, and I'm, I'm so glad that you've come on and here and said it because it's just, I find it exhausting the amount of crap that I get. And, and I'm not a particular buyer. I mean, you know, as soon as you're, uh, uh, you know, Chief financial officer, the amount of stuff you must have to wade through. Yeah, um, I know. I know. And um, I remember talking at a Christmas party with a chief information officer at CIO, and he said that he had two competitors basically trying to get a meeting with him, and they were using the same email template. Oh, my God. Oh, that's just ugh. <laughs> it's nauseating. <laughs> Isn't that, I mean, that, that is, I mean, I, I, and at that point, this is, this is probably four years ago. And I was thinking sales probably can't get much lower than, than think that, that there's, there's, there's people trying to get hold of him and they're just thinking their templates are, are good enough. You know, it's, it's only a numbers game. If you do it wrong, lose the templates, lose the bots, lose it. All these things that you feel are making you more efficient and spend your energy on real connection. And you will see that the numbers game becomes now one that actually works in your favor. So where, remind people where they can find you. So you can find me on LinkedIn, which again, must be done through a very nice, real personal message. So I know that you're a real person. Um, and you can also go to my website, sexupyourbrand.com. Uh, I respond pretty easily, but I do want to see a little bit of your personality. Maybe that's very much related to what we were talking about. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for coming on. And I, I really appreciate it. I, it's been a great conversation. And um, um, <laughs> I was going to say, we need to find a way of working together, but I, 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 I won't say that. Well, thank you for inviting me. I feel like we could talk about this for like five hours. I mean, this is such a loaded subject and I really want people to listen and hear this. And if they have any question, feel free to contact me because honestly, this can change everything that you do in your business if you really understand that this is where sales are headed. So, totally agree. Totally agree. Thanks so much for today. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.